Hey, welcome back and good morning. I'm out at Rattlesnake Ledge. We've been there a few times before. It has snowed overnight uh, above about 1,500 feet, which is about 500 feet above where I am today. So I'm going to hike up, see if I can capture some things in the snow. Um, it's foggy today, so it's a good chance to try out some woodland photography. So maybe I can get the two blended together. Also, I've got some new ideas for this channel I want to share with you as we get a little bit further up this hike. So thanks for coming back. Really appreciate it. Let's get going. I uh, teased a little bit there at the beginning. I was gonna make some uh, changes to this channel. So first, let me start with the things that aren't gonna change. Uh, I'm gonna keep hiking. I'm gonna keep taking you along on those hikes. I'm gonna keep doing landscape photography. I've loved these things forever, hiking more and more. Uh, the longer I live here in the PNW, photography since a really, really young age. Um, what is gonna change is I plan to make an addition to the channel. So, um, really boils down to the fact that I'm a scientist at heart. I've loved science for a very, very long time. I have a degree in physics, even though that's not what I do today professionally. And I feel like science is the thing that I might be able to help contribute to this landscape photography. Since living here in the Pacific Northwest, I've come to really appreciate the flora, the fauna, the geology, Geology, wow, I never thought I'd call geology a science. The geology of the area, I've done a ton of research on it and I keep doing more research on it. Uh, and I just really enjoy it. So my plan is to share some of that with you on this channel. I hope that you enjoy it. I have uh, this big belief that just because I understand nature and how nature works at a detailed level, like I understand why light reflects at a quantum level, just gives me that much more appreciation for the world around me and how absolutely astonishing it is. So hopefully sharing some of these things that I've learned about this area, about the science of this area, about the biology, about the geology, uh, will help you enjoy the Central Cascades or wherever you live just a little bit more as you're out hiking, capturing the world, sharing it with everybody. So really appreciate that. If you uh, have any thoughts about it, Leave it in the comments below and let's get going on this hike. Hey, I've paused here along the trail. Um, there's actually a little waterfall here on the south side of Rattlesnake Lake. So I'm going to go set up for that photo. But before I do that, I promise a little bit of science. So we'll get a little bit of science. Um, one of the things when you see mountains is to think about how they got there. The natural landscape is flat and it takes work to create mountains. So Rattlesnake Ledge is the easternmost mountain is what is called the Issaquah Alps. Um, Alps is a marketing term. They're more like foothills. They run just south of I-90 uh, all the way from North Bend, Washington to Bellevue, Washington. So the question to ask is, how do we get a set of foothills here? Are they part of the Cascades to our further east, or are they separate? Well, it turns out the Issaquah Alps are uh, created differently than how the Cascades are created. It turns out there's a fault line that currently runs, or I-90 actually runs on top of where the fault line is, and it's an ancient fault line. Uh, and these foothills, these Issaquah Alps, which include Rattlesnake Ledge, are just south of that fault line. And they are ancient bedrock that, if you can imagine this being the fault line, this being the Issaquah Alps, that over time have gotten pushed up and exposed as these foothills. Now, the next question is, why are these east-west foothills here, and, why do, and what does that have to do with an east-west line, fault line? Because we know the Cascades run north-south, so these actually run perpendicular to the Cascades. And what we know is, is that we know that the cascades, and matter of fact, the, the plate the cascades are sitting on, are rotating clockwise about a spot in Oregon. And so as they rotate about this spot in Oregon and they come up to this fault line, 
that's here where I-90 is, they get pushed upwards along the fault line as that rotation happens. Sorry, got a little bit interrupted there and I don't wanna uh, ruin other people's enjoyment of the area, so I stopped. Uh, so back to where I was. So one of the questions you gotta ask then is, why is their ledge at the easternmost terminus of Rattlesnake Lake, or Rattlesnake Ledge? And the reason is, is because it was carved off during the last ice age between 2 million years ago and 10,000 years ago when the Puget Lobe would work its way down this direction up Snoqualmie Valley and eventually it just carved off the eastern side of Rattlesnake Ledge and that's why we have the ledge. So I hope you enjoy this little science lesson. Let's go take this photo over here. Hey, I've got this first little scene set up here. Uh, it's along a stream that comes out of the south side of uh, Rattlesnake Ledge. Uh, there's uh, some really uh, beautiful snow here on the ferns and around the, the creek, and I wanted to capture some of that. Uh, so let's go take a look at that real quick. Hey, so here's what I have set up on the back of the camera. Uh, you can see here I've got this uh, lovely fern with uh, snow on it here, and then in the background is this uh, creek, and then the ferns repeat it back here. Um, I can get all the exposure in, uh, as you can see from my histogram, keep it to one-fifth of a second, which is uh, beautiful for um, this sort of water movement. So I won't have to do an exposure blend, but the uh, depth of field is uh, pretty shallow. So I'll be taking uh, one exposure from uh, right here uh, to get the closest part of the fern, and the one a little further back, likely right about here. Um, so uh, I'm going to go take those pictures and then I'll show this photo. I've stopped here um, just off the trail. I'm actually on the old Rattlesnake Ledge Trail, which almost nobody ever comes down. Um, really just looking for some woodland photography, and I think I found one here. So let me uh, give you a show of what I'm doing here. All right, here's the scene, uh, looking down my uh, camera here. Um, shooting for this tree, and then this tree with the moss. That's what really caught my eyes, the tree with the moss the light shining on it, and then a little bit of snow in the background. So this is what it looks like on the back of my camera. So these are the three trees here uh, I'm trying to capture. One right through here, one right through here, and then the one in the middle, and then capture the snow to help draw your line. Now I did have to focus stack this, so I went over here and turned the autofocus on to the closest tree, and then took that exposure. I'm about one stop under what it reads as normal exposure, uh, mostly because uh, the snow is pretty bright. So I'm not going to do multiple exposures on this um, in terms of uh, um, exposure levels. I just want to get the focus bracking. I think I can bring up any of the shadow detail that's necessary. And then one last one back here on the last tree. Oh. There we go. Okay, so I'll take those into Photoshop and focus stack them together and do a little bit of processing. If they're any good, I'll show them here. Appreciate to hear what you think about them in the comments below. Thank you.
Hey there. Uh, I made it up to the first of the three ledges of Rattlesnake Ledge. I took a stop there. I actually captured a few photos looking down into the valley. There's still some low-laying fog. Um, and I think it makes some of those moody Pacific Northwest photos. It was really busy up there with people already. Um, so I didn't even bother to get my tripod out and certainly didn't want to disturb everybody with my recording. So sorry for not showing capturing the scenes up there. Uh, but uh, I'll put those photos up now for you. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, let's get going on up to the second ledge. Hey folks, I've made it up here to the third ledge of Rattlesnake Ledge. It's really gorgeous out today. Really glad I got out and did a hike. I need to head back down this hill for some family time activities, so I think that's going to end my photographic outing for the day. Um, do let me know what you thought of the photos and the new little science blurb in the comments below. Really like to hear from you so I can figure out how to match what your needs are. If you like this video, remember to give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more of me uh, here in the Cascades with a little bit of landscape photography, a little bit of hiking, and a little bit of science, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell so that you get alerts. Well, that's it for me. Thank you all for coming along this long. Bye for now. <music>